Hi everyone, I'm back in the garage and today I'm doing the block off plates to remove the air recirculation system. Well, we've been having some amazing weather, but it's kind of come to an end a bit today. Look, flipping rain. What's all that about? So no riding. Yeah, no riding, just working on the bike. So um, let's get these block off plates done. So I've stripped it down. This all looks a bit dramatic, I know. Uh, a lot of you, if, if any of you, sorry, want to uh, see the process of stripping it down like this, uh, look at some of my other videos on the build series when I did the spark plugs and you'll see how I stripped it down to this point and uh, changed over. So basically, what have we got to do? Um, right, we've got to fit these block off plates and this kind of rubber block off hose part um, in place of... Uh, this hose work down here it's hard to see to be honest um, but it's this uh, there's one screw holding it in place on the top here between the first two spark plugs and another one again in between the second two spark plugs on the top of the head you just loosen off and take out the two retaining screws and pull out all the hose work including this bit of hose which attaches to the top of the airbox remove all that screw those in place, use a bit of Loctite as well on the thread to hold them tight. As I said, put that on the airbox. Job's done. Job's a good one. Right, let's um, get that hose off. Basically, you can, um, you can pull out one or two ways this way, which is a bit more kind of fiddler coming out this way. Fiddlier? Um, yeah, a bit more of a, a messy job. Or take it the other way, which looks a bit easier and it is easier basically so just going to get that off and fed out just be careful take your time with this don't rush it because you don't want to be messing up any of your wiring or breaking this because you may even want to put this back on now all we have to do is fit the block off plates now if you look at the block off plates you've got to put those rubber grommets on grommets rubber washers i do talk some rubbish all right so make sure you put these rubber washers on the block off plates before you fit them um, which just ensure an airtight fit all right see that okay so make sure you fit those back on the block off plates before fitting them in um, and yeah they kind of they sit in not too badly actually that's sat in place now I just need to screw that in place get a bit of thread lock so get a bit of thread lock yeah I'm using uh, some Grant Grenville Granville stuff um, seems quite good. Make sure it's mixed up properly, and uh, put a bit on the thread like so. You don't need loads, and then put that. Oops, screw them in place. Make sure it's all good. Looks good. Just do myself a favour and remove this hose out of the way. It's not a bad shape. Alright, you might want to start off the thread with your fingers because it's a bit fiddly and you don't want to be dropping that screw down into the engine compartment. All right, and then just do it up properly now with your hex tool, your hex screw head. Do it up properly. All right, that is that one done up. So let me show you that. Right, so there you go. It's fitted in place and uh, yeah, lock tight the thread and we've got the washer on that one. So that's the first one. 
done. Now we need to do the other one, which is underneath all this wiring here. Yeah, so we do the same there as well. So that's the two plates now in place. One and the second one in there, which you can just about see. Um, now what we need to do is fit this rubber piece on the air box, which I'll just show you now. So here's the air box. Here is the recirculation valve. And here is where this piece of tube normally kind of, oops, sorry, this is where it normally kind of attaches onto here, yeah? We just remove that before you take off the airbox when you're taking the bike apart. And here is your rubber piece and it just sits on, sits on there. Now, for me, that's not mega snug. I'm gonna put a rip tie around the outside of that outer, or this inner edge, should I say, so it kind of makes a tighter seal there. Um, I wouldn't even mind cutting this a bit shorter because there's a lot of material here. Um, so I'm not sure if I ought to cut that shorter or not. But I think I'll start off as it is and just fit it and put a rip tie around here and hold that on a little bit tighter. But that is it guys. That is the installation of the block off plates. So um, when you're kind of doing this, basically it stops um, a lot of the popping and banging. Apparently, I've been told you still get some popping and banging. So it's going to be interesting to see what the end result is. Um, so yeah, that is it. That is the installation of the block off plates. Real quick, easy job really, guys. I know it looks rather daunting to strip down the bike like this but it's really not that bad just take your time and uh, don't rush it anyway I'm going to do a few other jobs as well I need to replace uh, this coil pack as well because it's a bit damaged because I managed to damage it a little bit um, and I may also look at doing the air um, sensor as well the cold air sensor and repositioning that but that is where I'm going to end this video thanks for watching guys it's a little one but one just to uh, to keep you going. Oh, by the way, the new camera is here. Um, I've also got uh, a nice external microphone, a, a Zoom microphone. So let's hope I can bring you some better quality vlogs soon. Thanks for uh, remaining patient, guys. Much more to come soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope it dries up soon and that sun comes out again. Anyway, layers. Oh, one more thing as well. This is the kit I've used. It's by Driven. That's the part number. DS Block Dash Seven. Um, and I had to. I had. I bought this on eBay, and I had to get that from America. Couldn't find the full kit with this um, rubber attachment included. Um, and as you can see, I've also just rip tied that in place. And uh, yeah, we've got a squeezy, squeezy little nipple now. A bit weird. But hey, um, there we go. That's where, how it is for now. I'll just cut off that little excess. And I really am going, guys. Because I want to play with this nipple all by myself. Okay, laters, everyone. Bye.